In this online lecture, we're going to discuss the Friedel Crafts acylation reaction. And here are our key points. Number one, we're going to see that Friedel Crafts acylation follows the general mechanism for electrophilic aromatic substitution. We're also going to see number two that the pre step for Friedel Crafts involves a reaction between a Lewis acid and a Lewis base. The pre electrophile acts as a Lewis base, and the electrophile maker acts as the Lewis acid. We're also going to see number three, that an acid anhydride could be used in place of an acyl chloride. We're also going to see four, that water is used in this reaction in a second step to separate something called the AlCl3 complex. And we're going to see here number five, the reaction will not take place with deactivated rings. So let's study this reaction here. It starts out with these reagents, a benzene ring, this thing right here, and AlCl3. And let's talk about the roles being played here. This is going to be your pre-electrophile. This is going to be your electrophile maker. And this is the product that we're going to get here. Making this right here the electrophile. And some vocab here, this thing here in the shaded box here is called an acyl group. That's why this reaction is called Friedel Crafts acylation. And the molecule that we're reacting right here, this thing is called an acyl chloride. These acyl chlorides are the most popular reagents in Friedel Crafts acylation. So let's learn our reaction by first looking at the pre step. The pre step involves, of course, the pre electrophile and the electrophile maker. And what happens here is the electrons on the halogen of the acyl chloride move towards the Al in the AlCl3. Notice it's the acyl chloride that's donating the electrons, so that definitely makes him the Lewis base and the AlCl3 as the Lewis acid. The result of this move here, we end up with this as a result. Notice the acyl group becomes a full-fledged electrophile, and we're getting AlCl4 as a byproduct. But let's get a better look at this acyl group here. I just want to show you that this structure has resonance. If I put the electrons here on the oxygen, then what we could say is the electrons fall down here between the carbon and the oxygen, and we end up with this as a resulting resonance structure with this particular geometry. Notice that moves the positive charge on the carbon to the oxygen. What that means is that with this particular reagent, we will not get carbocation rearrangement. We'll talk about this in more depth later, because what we're going to see in Friedel Crafts alkylation, which is different from Friedel Crafts acylation, you do actually get carbocation rearrangement. And we need to know for our orgo exam that in Friedel Crafts acylation, we're not going to have to worry about carbocation rearrangement. So tuck this point away for later. So let's get back to our mechanism. It's the resonance structure on the left that actually reacts. So let's see how he's going to react with benzene. And of course, it's not going to be any different from what we've seen before in electrophilic aromatic substitution. The electrons in the benzene are going to go and attach to this positively charged carbon right here. We're going to end up with this as an intermediate and plus our two other resonance structures. And of course, we know how the reaction ends. A base comes along, rips off this hydrogen, electrons fall down here between these two carbons, and we're back to our aromatic ring, and this is our product. So Friedel Crafts alkylation does follow the general mechanism for electrophilic aromatic substitution. However, let's talk about quick product here. Let's say we had this example right here and we're trying to get to the product quickly without having to go through the mechanism. It's very simple. All you do is notice that you have an acyl chloride, you have AlCl3, and you have the benzene ring. And all you have to do, therefore, is focus on this carbon right here, the one that's directly connected to the halogen. He is the carbon that's going to be directly connected to one of the carbons in the benzene ring. In that case, we end up with this as a result right here. So quick product method is very easy for this reaction. So there is our Friedel Crafts acylation reaction. But there's actually a little more to it here. For this reaction to work, you need in step one, the acyl chloride and the AlCl3. But you also use step two, 
water. Let's make sure we understand why this second step is here. This is very important because later on when we look at sample problems and we're doing, let's say, some kind of synthesis, if we choose to perform a Friedel-Crafts acylation, we have to add this second step of water. And we want to know that Friedel-Crafts acylation always includes this water, so we don't confuse the second step here with some other reaction. But let's understand why the water is necessary. Remember, when Friedel-Crafts acylation, our product that we get here looks like this. And it just so happens that the electrons on the oxygen here can actually complex with the Al on the AlCl3. If we didn't have water in this reaction, then this would actually be our product. But this is what water does. It simply dissolves this and separates the AlCl3 from our Friedel-Crafts acylation product. So the water is not really reacting in this reaction. It's just separating the product from any of the electrophile maker reagents. So make sure you know again that water is part of this reaction. Now also here there's some variations on this reaction. Instead of using an acyl chloride, you can actually use this molecule instead. This thing is called an acid anhydride. If you react this acid anhydride with a benzene ring, you end up with this as a result. Notice it's the same thing we got before when we used an acyl chloride. And just to make sure you know what went where here, this acyl group was originally this acyl group right here. So watch out for this. Your orgo professor might use this alternative reagent. But there's even another nuance here with this reaction that we should know. For instance, let's say you want to synthesize benzaldehyde. Then you would use these particular reagents. Notice your acyl chloride is actually what's now called a formal chloride. And in formal chloride, notice you don't have an R group connected to the carbon. You have an H instead. And again, just to make sure you know what went where, that H is this H right here in the product. So we can use Friedel-Crafts acylation to make benzaldehyde. But just to make sure, we should know that this formal chloride is not an actually stable molecule. Which means if we want to pull off this reaction, we have to make the formal chloride first. And on some organic chemistry tests, they show the actual production of this molecule. And it's very straightforward here. All you're doing is reacting carbon monoxide with HCl, and this is what you get here under high pressure conditions, you get the formal chloride. Some vocab here just in case, this is called the Gatterman-Koch reaction. It's simply a reaction that helps synthesize formal chloride. And the reason why this is important is because we can't just simply add formal chloride. It's too unstable to exist. So all we can do is quickly make it on the fly, and then as soon as it's formed, immediately react it with benzene. So that's why typically on an orgo test, all of these reagents are listed when you're going to try to synthesize benzaldehyde. Now, one last thing we should know about Friedel-Crafts acylation is its limitations. And one of them here is that the reaction will not take place with deactivated rings. And what that simply means is that you cannot Friedel-Crafts acylate a benzene if it has a strongly deactivating group on it, in this case, NO2. We need to know that this would have no reaction here. Now, NO2 is not the only strongly deactivating group. We'll learn in other online lectures of all the other ones. And we'll also learn why they deactivate benzene rings, or in other words, make them less reactive. So for now, just take this point for as it is and tuck it away for later. Well, what have we learned here? What are our key points? Well, we saw number one, Friedel-Crafts alkylation follows the general mechanism for electrophilic aromatic substitution. We also saw number two that the pre-step for Friedel-Crafts involves a reaction between a Lewis acid and a Lewis base. The pre-electrophile acts as a Lewis base and the electrophile maker acts as the Lewis acid. We also saw that three, an acid anhydride, 
could be used in place of an acyl chloride. We also saw four. Remember, water is very important. It's used in a second step to separate the product from the AlCl3 complex. And lastly, we saw number five, Friedel-Crafts acylation will not take place with deactivated rings.